2008 unibody MacBook LCD assembly replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and let's start off by flipping it over. Press in the battery cover latch and remove the panel. Next remove the battery. There are 8 screws that are holding in the bottom case panel. We'll start off by removing the top 4 screws. The first screw is the short screw and the next 3 screws are long screws. On the bottom of the panel there are 4 distinctly small screws. Let's go ahead and remove those and that will release the bottom panel. Once the 8 screws have been removed that are holding down the panel, gently grip it up in the top and remove it out of the way. Open up the MacBook, flip it and place it on the table so that the LCD hangs over the table ledge. We're going to need to remove the speaker which is attached with two Phillips head screws on both sides. Once both Phillips head screws are removed from the speaker, go ahead and detach the EyeSight air and AirPort card cable, then the speaker cable. Now remove the speaker bracket that's being held in by two Phillips head screws. One of the screws is attached to the EyeSight and AirPort card cable. That screw can be pried out of the cable and later will be placed back into the cable. Detach the LVDS cable by gently lifting the LVDS latch and then prying the cable to your left. Next, detach the LVDS cable bracket that is being held in by two Phillips head screws. Switch from a Phillips head to a Torx 6 screwdriver. The LCD assembly is being held in by 6 T6 screws. 3 T6 screws on each hinge. Let's go ahead and remove all 6 of those screws. Now we can gently lift the LCD right up and it will separate from the MacBook lower case. Take your new LCD and drop it into the hinge slots. Attach only one T6 screw on each hinge. This is done so that the LCD assembly is aligned properly. Now attach the remaining four T6 screws and secure the LCD assembly in place. Switch back to a Phillips head screwdriver. We can now secure the LVDS cable bracket back in place with two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the LVDS cable, carefully plugging it in 
and making sure that the latch goes over the connector so that it can't come loose. We can now reconnect the speaker bracket, but first we have to loop one of its Phillips head screws through the EyeSight and airport card cable. Place back the speaker, gently tucking in all cables back around it. Secure the speaker with two Phillips head screws on each end. You can now reconnect the speaker. Then reconnect the EyeSight and the airport card cable. Gently tuck it in and make sure that it's flush up against this connector. Now tuck away all the cables. Place the bottom case panel in the same manner that it was removed, gently pressing down on it making sure that no cable connections are being pinched off. Reinstall the top four screws starting with the shorter top left screw and next the three longer screws. Now reinstall the four smaller bottom screws for the panel. This will finish attaching the panel. Place the battery back into its socket. Now place the battery cover on top. Make sure to use the battery cover latch to firmly lock it in place.